This is just a quick video about uh, some sources that I was going to share with everybody. I got a comment from Silas uh, Ademola, and he was saying, Hey bro, I was looking into some things. Have you heard of GEET? He's talking about the GEET engine. Here's a diagram of the process. I'm going to put this link down below in the, the description of this video so you can have it. This is where it goes to. It's this uh, diagram right here. And I'll just, so you could pull it down and uh, download it for yourself. Uh, if not, you can just look at it right here. This is the GEET engine plasma reactor, and I'm going to put this video down below as well. This is a guy talking about it. Whereas this end of it acts as a miniature refinery, allowing the engine to run on everything from battery acid and water mixed to crude oil right out of the ground. So he demonstrates what it is, how it works, and this is back in the 80s when he had this engine. And then he even has more uh, recent videos of him talking about this. A lot of people have been replicating this. I just want to share all these videos and the resources that goes with it. I want to get these out as fast as possible so you can choose which one you that you feel like you can do. Um, and next time I want to get an earth generator uh, going I have a person from my church he said that uh, he had a diagram of this plans uh, the plans on how to do this uh, also this guy talks about it he's doing it for the first time but um, the guy that I was talking to he's he's gonna get the plans for this and how to set it up so as soon as I get that I'll do a video about it on how to do earth battery and um, I'm going to be constructing this one eventually. I'm in the process of doing that. And th this is one I'm pretty excited about because you could probably find these motors. I found like four motors just in my grandpa. Uh, my step grandpa, he died a while back, but he had some of these motors sitting around. And uh, he just put a battery in the middle of it. And it helps his battery last a lot longer. You could probably put even a battery bank in there and it'll just be an emergency setup when you don't have solar or wind or whatever you could set this up and uh, I haven't figured out quite how to do this yet um, but I'm looking for the plans to do that I did find it uh, well it's a screenshot of that but I did find uh, several sources this is a small picture of it um, basically you can get the idea of what that is I'm still gathering more information about that also this guy watch this guy engineered to fail yeah, these are engineered to fail that's the amount of space you got in there which gives you about uh, six months to a year with this battery um, if they were to move these up like this then you would have a battery that would probably last 10 or 12, maybe 14 years. So he's looking at a car battery that you would buy from Walmart. And this is a, let's see if I can find the front. So you can kind of see, he cut the top off of it so he can get to the cells. And he's actually remaking and reconstructing this battery and he explains how he makes it last a lot longer uh, and even rejuvenating batteries so I don't have it queued up right now but he talks about the cells and how you could easily reconstruct these and then get a battery that lasts uh, I don't know increases the life like 300 percent or something it was crazy on what he did with that but uh, it's just household items that we could use. We could uh, f cut the battery open and just put the the new stuff in there and make a battery. So he got this EverStart battery. He cut it in half, pulled the cells out, reconstructed them, and he made a 6-volt battery here. And then he made it last a lot longer. So this is what I want to do as well. I have like four or five batteries that went dead because they're designed and engineered to fail like he was saying and he explains exactly what is designed to fail 
and he shows you what they do uh, to to make him fail sooner. So he, he ex explains that these plates should be thicker like this. This is a, a cell from 1940s or something like that. They used to make them last a really long time uh, and work a lot better. So I'm going to be working on that and I'm in the middle of working on a cell well this is like a uh, a cement battery I did a mixture of some different things of Epsom salts and uh, a little bit of tourmaline or whatever it doesn't really matter as long as there's like some kind of mixture in there and I used some uh, uh, Portland cement and I got a volt out of it and let me just demonstrate that really quick um, but I thought it was really cool that I got at least a volt out of it. Let's see if I could do this one handed, but you can see I got a volt out of it, and then it slowly, slowly goes down a little bit, and it uh, you can put a load on it, I guess. So <clears throat> I'm going to be making more of these. Um, I am interested in this, but I, I'm still not completely satisfied just with that. So I'm going to keep doing that. And but that was a, another successful little experiment that I had with that. And so I'll keep doing more of that. So look at these videos below in the, in the, in the description. And uh, I'll keep coming up with more resources and diagrams for all of this stuff so we can just spread it out there and you can choose which one you want to do.